So hey guys, welcome to the channel Learn Competitive Programming with Codechef. So if you are new to the channel, then this channel brings out to you a quality content on data structures and algorithms, various topics of competitive programming and video editorials of the contest held on Codechef platform. So if you are new, then please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. Myself, Shirayu Jain, I'm a Codechef educator and in the series of linked lists, we are going to discuss today W linked list. Okay guys, so now let us start the understanding of W linked list, right? So Let's go with the definition first. So what is a doubly linked list? In doubly linked list, along with the next pointer, there's a previous pointer. So first of all, if you've not watched the linked list and the single linked list, I should advise you to watch that first so that you can have a clear idea on what is linked list. So that is like in continuation with the doubly linked list. So doubly linked list is a linked list that has the previous pointer along with the next pointer, right? So you can see here that this is the uh, next pointer and we have the previous pointer along with that next pointer right so that we can move in both the ways right so which also points to previous node so basically the previous pointer points to the previous node and the next pointer points to the next node that's obviously clear with the help of the terminologies right so the previous pointers allows us to move backward and to the previous node in the linked list. So if we, if we are traversing at this particular direction, then it is also possible to travel from any of the node to the previous direction as well. So that makes it more like useful when we want to traverse it back or we want to traverse it front. So that is quite useful. So what are the advantages of this? So first of all, it is bidirectional travel traversal. That's that's what we have been seeing, right? So bidirectional travels become so smooth in W linked list. Now, uh, one more thing that is deletion from back in the O1 operation. So what we need to do, if let, let's say that this is a unidirectional linked list with these with these links and we want to delete this node. So we need to traverse the whole linked list and then delete it, right? It's better that we use double linked list here because we can delete it easily from the back, right? We can delete it easily from the back. One pointer should be pointing at this position. One pointer should be pointing at this position and we should begin it from here and delete it from the back. So that becomes very easy with doubly linked list. Right, so this is some basic thing regarding doubly linked list. Uh, let's now discuss what are the operations that we can perform on doubly linked list, right? So that makes the whole uh, purpose of this video more clear, right? Okay guys, so now let us start understanding the operations in the doubly linked list, right? So we have seen the theoretical portion of doubly linked list and now let us understand what we can do. So the first, uh, point is that how we can add a node in the doubly linked list. So there are two things, right? So since it is bidirectional, so we are keeping two of the pointers that is front and end, right? So to traverse the whole doubly linked list. So one possibility is to add a node in the front. Another possibility is to add the node at the end, right? Generally, these two things will be considered. If you want to add any nth node that you can also explore and add it because we have some limited time constraints. So we can just do these two operations as of now. And if you want that you, uh, you require some uh, information for adding the node in the double linked list at nth position, then you can comment in the comment section below. We can discuss that part as well. So this is the thing. We need to uh, uh, insert at the front portion and at the end portion. So how we can do this is, so let us look at this uh, like uh, diagram that how we can, how we should approach this, right? So like we want one node to be added here before this before this first node right so what we need to do first of all this node is created right and there's some data inside it right one portion should be consisting of the address to the next node and another one should be consisting of the address of the previous node so there is no previous node here right so it should point to null first information right then the the pointer which is pointing to the next node should point to this node this is the second case, right? So first case is pointing to null. Second case, this node should point to the next node. That is like our first node as of now, right? Since we are making this as first node. So currently our first node is this, right? Now we need to update the previous of this as this node. Right? That's why we are creating a bi-directional link, right? So the third point is this, to create the previous of this as this node, right? And then what we can do is we can update the front because front should always point to the first node from there, right? So now we should update the front to here. I think these sequence of operation would sum up the whole process of adding a node at the front, right? 
Similarly, we can replicate these steps in the end, add, adding a node at the end position. So how we can do this is, let's say, this node we want to add, right? So first of all, we'll have the data for it. The next of this should point to null instead of the previous, right? And the previous of this should point to this particular node that is the currently the last node now, right? And the next of this should point to this particular node, right? So the bidirectional link is created and we should update the end at this particular node. Right, so in four steps, I think we can sum up this whole addition of a new node at the front and the end. This is the step number one. Okay, so we are done with some clarity on this, right? We shall see in the code that how we are actually doing it. But for the understanding with the help of diagrams and logical understanding, it's quite clear, right? Now let us move to the second point that is removing a node from the doubly linked list. So let us see how we can remove a node from the doubly linked list. So basically if you want to remove a node, there are again three possibilities, right? We can remove the node from the front, we can remove the node from the end and we can remove the node from any of the positions, right? So we'll see all these possibilities that how we can remove a node. So basically if you want to remove a node from the front, so what we should do, right? What we should do, simply what we should do is like this uh, link the front of this should point to this right that's that's the thing right the front should point to this and we should simply delete this particular link and the previous of this should point to null these are some basic operations that we can think of right these are some basic things that we should think of while just you know solving a problem right while just making a rather than just mugging it up we should learn it from the scratch how we can do it right so the previous of this should point to null, we should delete this particular link. That means that the previous is only related to this, right? The next of this doesn't matter to us now because we are deleting this node, right? And we should update the front. That's all I think what we can do here. And all the things are there. Similarly, we can replicate over the end also, right? We can replicate the whole things at the end, right? What we, whatever we are doing in the front, just in the reverse manner. If we are using previous here, then we should use next there. If we are using next, there then we should use previous right so vice versa will be true if we want to delete a node which is in the middle so what we need to do let's see so the next of let's say we want to delete this node right the third one so the next of this node should point to this okay let's let's take some different colors so that it would be more clear so the next of this should point to this and the previous of this should point to this that's all right so if we are able to develop these two links then automatically this is deleted right so the deletion of node is quite easy in the double link list right so we have to just make we have to just uh, we have to just make two uh, pointers that is this one and this one and we can delete the middle one right so that's all in the removing a node from double link list searching a node would be uh, very simple in the double link list with the help of two pointers we have we, either we can go at this direction and this direction and search a node right so that would be simple searching of node removing of node and adding a node we will see in detail in the coding section so let's start with the coding section one small advice that if you have some clarity while understanding this particular uh, topic uh, in the concept part only then i think you should try coding the solution on your own and just post your solution in the comment section and see that what if your solution is more optimized and there is some other approach that you can think of that others cannot that it would be great right so just a small advice before jumping onto the coding section just try to uh, create your own code and see that if that works right otherwise you can see the coding section and let's try to code this double linked list in c plus plus Okay guys, so now let us understand how we can code this, right? So I have written different functionalities. Let us assume that there is a class and we have separate functions uh, for double link list, right? So we'll just uh, understand what is the logic that is used behind the implementation of these functions, right? So let us start with the add front method, right? So we need to add a element at the front and the data that is given to us is D, right? So we need to create a node and the data and use the appropriate pointers to just modify the nodes, right? To, to just modify the pointing of the nodes, right? Okay, so we have created a node that is temp, right? That is a temp node, or we can create a new node or something like that. And uh, yeah, so this is the this is the new node that we have created. 
so the data for this is d right so the, the data factor of this is d obviously as i said since this is the first node the previous value will be null right so the previous of this would be null the next of this would be the front so since front is pointing to the first node as of now that address needs to be stored in this particular new node because ultimately it should be pointing to that node right so the next for that is now the front right because front is pointed to the first node as of now now what happens if the front is null that condition we need to take into into the account so if front is equals to null then what we should we do that means that there is no node right this is the first node that we are making right so then the end would also be equal to temp because this is the first node right that we are entering so the end would also be uh, equal to temp else if there exists some node so what do we do the previous of the front because front is pointing to the first node as i said there should be a bidirectional link right so we have created this link right temp dot next equal to front but we need to create the previous link as well right so the front since it is pointing to the first node as of now so the previous of that would be equal to now temp because temp is entering as the new node which is the first node uh, which will be in the link list right so then it will be equal to uh, temp the previous of that right and ultimately we'll update the front because front is now pointing to second node right so we have entered one node right so it should now point to the first node only right so we'll update the front as temp so this is how we enter a node in the front the second point is to enter the node at the end so this is the same replica of this just we'll walk through it very quickly so we are creating a node making the data entry previous right so previous should be equal to end because we are entering the node at the end and the next should be pointing to null right so this this point is clear and if you're not clear with it then rewind the video and see where we have just making and updating the pointers right so you can just go and search for the theory portion if end is equals to null then what we can do we can uh, make the front is equal to temp same reasons like if end is null then obviously front should be updated because there is no entry right there is no entry in the linked list so obviously front should be updated <coughs> so front will be pointing to temp and else end dot next will be equal to temp right so earlier what we did was we have updated the previous of that pointer now the next pointer and is pointing to the element which is last as of now but there is another element which is added so end dot next should point to this we have created this link of temp now we need to create the bidirectional link that is this one right so end uh, end uh, the value of end next should be equal to temp and uh, and then we'll what we'll do we'll modify the end it will update the end from this uh, particular second last block to the last block so this is how and end will be done and the delete node right so we have been given a node uh, that we need to delete right from the linked list so what we should do there are three possible cases for deletion of this node as we discussed uh, either it is the front of the node or it is the end of the node or somewhere in the middle right so what we will do so firstly we'll check whether it is a front node it is the front node so if the previous is null then it means it is the front node uh, so what we will do we will update what we will do we'll update so front should now point to this node because this first node going to be deleted right so the front should be updated to this next right and the previous of the front is null now right only we need to delete that link right as we have discussed so we need to delete that link so we'll mark it as null right and the front is updated similarly replicant in the, in the end also and should be now marked as previous one of that and the next of the end should be pointing to null that's how we can delete it easily from the front end, end. now in this uh, deletion of node from any middle node what we need to do we need to develop a link from this to this excluding the middle one and from the last to the first one excluding the middle one so how we are doing this is if the nth node this node we want to delete if the nth node previous next position nth node previous next position is pointing to this node we need to update to this next position right so what we will do we'll just make it like that right so understand this point very carefully this is the this is the nth node right this is the nth node and its previous next its previous next should be pointing to this right this nth node we need to update this to n dot next n dot next is this node 
this node right this node so it should be updated like that right similarly the previous of this node the previous of this node that means n dot next dot previous is pointing to now another node it should point to n previous right so it is the link which is made right so this is how we are updating any uh, deleting any of the middle node right and at last uh, we delete the node we clear out the memory now if we want to search a node right so this is the head reference that is given this is the pointer to pointer right so this is the pointer to pointer which is given the reference of the head is given to us right so and this is the data that we need to search right so first of all we create a temporary uh temporary node which is pointing to this uh, reference of this head right so we created that and there is a position which we need to look right so at this position the node is present right that we need to return so while temp data is not equal to x still we do not encounter any value x and the next is not equal to null we are traversing the whole linked list then we'll increment the position and we'll make the changes in the temp right if if at last we got if we are not able to get the value of x if the temp dot data is not equal to x right if we are not encountering anything which is equal to x then we'll simply return minus 1 otherwise we'll uh, we'll return position plus 1 why because we have taken positions from 0 so ultimately we'll uh, it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so we'll return position plus 1 so this is how we are using it right so that's all we have discussed almost all the functionalities and if there are certain functionalities which uh you think that it should be discussed you can write down in the comment section below or you just try to implement on your own and write your comments in the comment section below let's see that what different approaches what different ideas of adding a node to the linked list or deletion can come with, with you guys right so that's all for this particular